Jose Barrios, man, this guy's pitches are just drop dead gorgeous when he is on this beautiful bendy curveball and then that sinker that just dives in on a right handed batter like that. Uh, so beautiful, so nice to have this guy on. Um, you know, my bad, my bad. I got into reminiscing and thinking about Berea, and I forgot he was on the Blue Jays. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it happens. Jose tore up the Minnesota Twins today. 13 strikeouts and seven innings pitched. Uh, been a tough year for him so far, but maybe a get right start against his old mates as Toronto wins 12 to three. Jorge, uh, excuse me, Jorge Planco, yes, <laughs> hit a two-run home run off of him in the first inning, uh, and that was, you know, most of the Twins' offense, only three runs on the game, uh, really had held down a rough rough go. We're going to start with the hitters, and you see here, I'll pull this back up again later, but the highlight guy we're going to start out with is Alaric Solare, uh, and quite a few other names on here we're going to highlight, but Keone Cavaco hit another home run uh, today, so that's nice to see. Uh, but Solare, as you saw there, hit for the cycle and plus, plus a bonus. A hit for the cycle plus. I'll to get to that in a sec. But he was a leadoff hitter for Cedar Rapids today and led off the game with probably the hardest part. It got to be the hardest part about getting the cycle, right? A triple. Uh, he, you know, the camera was set up wasn't even all set yet. It was the, literally the first batter of the game. He hits a triple. So he gets the difficult, the most difficult part of the cycle out of the way. And then in the second inning, he actually draws a walk. So in addition to getting the cycle, he draw. There should be a name for that. A cycle plus. I don't know. A bicycle. <laughs> I'm not sure. But here you see the single. Everybody was safe on that one. Uh, so there was a single. Here's his double. He rips down the line, gets it past the third baseman, gets into some trouble over there. Almost thought about another triple here, uh, but didn't quite go. So there was a double. And then in the eighth inning. I don't know how he hits a home run on this ball. We'll see that again. But how fun is it that he completes the cycle with the home run? I feel like that's really fun. Look at that. Gets down on a knee on, to get that one. So it completes the cycle with the home run in the top of the eighth inning. Obviously helps Cedar Rapids win a ball game as well. Uh, that's, again, Alaric Solare, second-round pick out of Tennessee from 2020. Uh, Spencer Steer here uh, hits his 11th home run of the season. For uh, for well for the season, not his 11th home run for the Saints. Uh, he spent a lot of time in Wichita. Alex Kirilov also with an opposite field home run again off that scoreboard above the fans there. Uh, he's back. Al Alex Kirilov should be with the Twins. Uh, he's looking great. Matt Walner, I don't know how this ball got out. This guy's just so big and strong. This looks like a pop out. It it pretty easily clears the wall, really. Uh, Matt Walner is just a big, strong human being, and his teammates got a kick out of that one because he, even he kind of looked like he he probably didn't get all of it off of uh, off the swing. He kind of looked like, oh, there's a pop out, and then it flies out of there. Uh, Dennis Ortega, a guy who's in his first year in the system, hit a walk-off single for Wichita. That's a Sean Kersey flying around the bases to score. Ortega, a catcher. Uh, so that was great. Matt Walner also hit a, a game-tying single in the bottom of the 10th to continue this game. And Ortega let off the 11 with that hit to finish it off. Big smiles in Wichita. That's really fun to see. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to get to Louis Varland highlights in just a moment. He started for them. But here's a breakdown of all the starting pitchers. I do want to mention Travis Adams down there. Is it definitely a guy to know? I have him 23rd on my prospect list, my updated one. You can find that on the channel somewhere if you look. <laughs> but great start for him tonight. Again, we're going to get into some Louis Varland highlights. Five innings, five hits, two runs, both earned. Two walks, nine strikeouts for Varland. After this outing, he has a 3.61 ERA, a 1.28 whip, and 10.7 strikeouts per nine. Uh, not as eye-opening of numbers as he had last year for Cedar Rapids when he was the Twins minor league pitcher of the year. Uh, but still, I'd say still performing pretty well uh, is Louis Varland. And again, today uh, helped get the win surge in a good position to win and, and ended up winning in extra innings. Uh, but a five-inning performance from Louis Varland with nine strikeouts. As you see here, lots of swings and misses on his breaking stuff. That one, he just had that guy all messed up. And here's Brent Hedrick, big, big guy, big lefty, tall drink of water. 6'6 six, six is what he's listed at. This guy was a ninth round pick out of Illinois State in 2019. Uh, another guy who cracked my most recent prospect list. He's 30th. 
Uh, and he pitched five and two thirds innings of four hit ball, gave up two runs, one walk, nine strikeouts. Um, he has been one of the better performing pitchers in all of minor league baseball. I think he's kind of picking on uh, guys who aren't uh, up to speed on a guy who can pitch as well as he can. He should be moving up anytime here. Uh, but Brent Hedrick, a 1.90 ERA, a 0.77 whip, 11.8 K per nine and 1.9 walks per nine. That's a 6.22 strikeout to walk ratio. 6.22. That is wild. Uh, for Brent Hedrick, just pitching extremely well. Again, one of the better performing stat-wise pitchers in all of minor league baseball. Thank you so much to Mark Olson, Jeff Jones, and Carson Shanks for being new super supporters. If you want to hit that super thanks button below the video, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and there's a preview screen of what that would look like. Uh, that's a one-time donation. Uh, and again, here's a look at the starting pitching rundown in case you missed it or just wanted to review that once more. Uh, each of the starters at each level, and then the hitters coming as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. We do these six days a week, so we'll talk again tomorrow. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thank you.